Irish shaders plus sodium, which is what we're going to be installing in this video, can actually give you better performance than Optifine shaders in Minecraft 1.19.3. This video, we're going to show you how to install Irish shaders. There's also a link to the video in the description down below that will show you how to set up Irish shaders effectively, as well as how to make sure that you're getting the most FPS when you have it installed. So go check that video out if you want. But first, we need to get Irish shaders to get things running correctly. So to do that, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. It'll take you here. This is our text tutorial for getting Iris shaders. And honestly, if you want to go through things kind of at your own pace, you can use this text tutorial to do it. Nevertheless, though, once you're here, click on the download Iris shaders button to be quickly taken to the official Iris shaders download page. On this page, you want to click on the big blue download universal jar button and automatically in the bottom left, Iris shaders will begin downloading. You may need to keep this in the bottom left of Chrome or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox, but Either way, it's 100% safe to do so. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and move on to getting our shader pack. Now, most shaders packs will work 100% fine without any issues in Iris shaders. So in this video, we're going to install two. We're going to install BSL shaders and Makeup Ultra Fast shaders. These are my favorite. <laughs> Just full disclosure, these are my favorite shaders packs. That's why we're installing them. Open them in a new tab for BSL shaders. You want to come here and click BSL shaders. And then you want to click the download button. Finally, we can scroll down and click the download button here, and it will begin after a few seconds. For Makeup Ultra Fast, it's even easier. Come to the right-hand side and scroll down to the 1.19 section and click the orange download button. Well, that's downloading. How about a mess our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love it to stay back so much that we host all of our servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. And if you want to add mods, plugins, or anything else like mod packs to your server, you can do so in just one click at Apex Minecraft Hosting. Truthfully, they're the best around and even have 24 hours, seven day a week check support should you have an issue. So be sure to check out the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour Minecraft server at Apex Minecraft Hosting. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser because everything is downloaded. Now, first things first, let's move all this to our desktop. To do that, go to the downloads folder. Now for me, I can access that in the top left by clicking the start menu for you. It might be in the bottom left or the bottom center of your screen. Normally I'd type in downloads here and it would pull up, but it stopped doing that today, the day of this launch. So we want to go to File Explorer and then it's going to be in this PC. So if you scroll down to the bottom and open the This PC drop down menu, we have a downloads folder and there is our shaders packs as well as the Iris installer. Now drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Now at this point we have our shaders packs and Iris installer. We're going to start with the Iris installer. Now if the logo here is different, that's okay. Let's try to open the Iris installer first. To do that, right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. Now if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, the same thing that you do if you want to fix your Java icon, and that's download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, and Iris Shaders is a Minecraft mod, so obviously we need Java 17. Luckily, there's an in-depth guide in the description down below that goes over every single step of downloading, installing, setting up Java 17 for Minecraft. Once you've gone through that tutorial, you should be able to open up Iris Shaders. However, if you're stopping issues, you can run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. It is worth noting, though, that the jar fix must be ran after getting Java 17 because if you don't have Java 17, the jar fix won't work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right click on the Iris installer, click on open with, click Java, and click OK to open the Iris installer up. From here, we want to make sure that 1.19.3 is selected and then just click install. It's that easy. Boom, done. Now we can go ahead and close out of the Iris installer and delete it from our desktop. Now if we open up the Minecraft launcher, we'll have an Iris profile, right? This is the simple and easy way to play Iris shaders. However, if you don't have an Iris profile, I will show you how to create one. But as you can see, Iris plus sodium, there it is. If you've got that, click play, click play again. If you don't, you might be able to click the drop down menu and select it. But if you still don't have it, go to installations. Now, if we don't have modded checked in the top right, it won't be here. So make sure that modded is checked. And if it is, click play, click play again once you find it. Now, if you still don't have Iris shaders, click new installation. Now, we can name this anything we want, but I'm going to name it Iris shaders 1.19.3 because that's what we're installing. And then under the drop down box, this is what's important important. We want to select release Iris Fabric 1.19.3. So this right here, release Iris Fabric 
1.19.3 at the end. Now, if the version numbers in the middle are different, that's okay. You just want to make sure that 1.19.3 at the end and Iris at the beginning. Once you've got that selected, you can change your resolution if you want. I'm doing that so you can see once we get in game. Click create. And now finally, we want to play using that Iris installation that we have. Either the one that was there by default or the one we just created. Doesn't really matter. Now, once Minecraft is open with Iris shaders, it's actually very, very easy to get your shaders pack installed. So let's do a jump cut and I'll meet you on the main menu to do that. So here we are in game to install your shaders packs. Just go to options, video settings. And yes, this looks a lot different than default Minecraft, but that's what Sodium will do for you. And then click shaders packs. So again, that was from the main menu. Click on Options, Video Settings, Shaders Packs up here at the top. Now, once we're here, we want to make sure that Shaders is marked as enabled. If it's not, I believe you can click it. I've never seen it not, though. But nevertheless, once you're in here, Shaders is marked as enabled. We can then go ahead and click the Open Shader Pack folder down here at the bottom. That's going to open up our Shaders Packs folder, right like so, where we can drag and drop any Shaders Packs we want. Make it ultra fast, BSL, chalk a pick, Silder's Vibrant Shaders, doesn't matter. It can be dragged and dropped in here, and it will show up in the back once we click the refresh button. Now we've got all of our shaders packs. Now let's go ahead and select BSL shaders and click apply at the bottom. When we do, that's gonna turn yellow and that means it's selected. Now, if you wanna edit your shader pack settings, you can do so with this button. And this is where you can change your different profiles, right? For example, medium is gonna have medium shadows with no extra effects and ultra is gonna have everything, right? So it's kind of up to you. We're gonna go with high for this for now. You can also change all the other different effects individually here, it's truly insane. But nevertheless, click done, click done, click done again and we can jump in to Minecraft, we'll see that these shaders are active. I will pull up the FPS, but it's worth noting that the best way to get the max FPS possible is by using that video in the description down below to configure Iris and Sodium. Once we're in game though, we can see that shaders is active. Let's set the time to day because it just looks better when it is daytime. Look at that, look at the shadows, looking good. And if we hit F3 to see our FPS, we can see that I'm averaging over 90 FPS-ish, over 80 FPS while running shaders. Pretty impressive considering I'm also recording. But BSL isn't known for performance. One that is though is if we go to options, video settings, and then we go to shaders packs again, we can actually change our shaders packs in game. So select ultra fast, click apply, boom, it changes in the background. We can then go into these settings and change it to the low setting here. Click done, it's gonna reconfigure again, click done again, and now we are getting well over 100 FPS relatively consistently while running a shaders pack. Absolutely insane. And uh, by the way, this isn't configured. So if I went through the video that we have on configuring our shaders, it would be even better. Um, it's kind of crazy and it's amazing what you can do with a good shaders pack like Makeup Ultra Fast and great settings with Sodium and Iris shaders. It's amazing. So there you have it though. That's how you can install Sodium and Iris shaders and install your shaders packs in Minecraft 1.19.3. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments section down below. We're more than happy to help you out and give the video a thumbs up if it did help. However, also check out the video on your screen right now because it's that video I've been talking about the entire time. How to configure Iris shaders with Sodium to make it as lag-free as possible so you can get well over 100 FPS, nearly 150 FPS, while you're recording and playing Minecraft all at the same time. So go check that video out. It's on your screen right now, but we will see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.